So after Like a Stone, everybody said, yo, keep going with Audio Slave. And you guys gave me a bunch of songs to 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 check out and listen to. And um you know it's so funny because right now, you know, if you subscribe to my channel and you you know watch other reactions, you know I'm also reacting to Cream. And just that whole dynamic of how, you know, they were from successful groups and they broke up and they created their own thing and then, you know, they broke up and went back to their group, you know, whatever. But I just find that, you know, ironic that I'm reacting to two super groups, essentially, and, um, you know, similar stories. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed Like a Stone, and um, I wasn't amazed by anything, but I, I enjoyed the song. I enjoyed the song, so I definitely wanted to hear more from them, and, and you guys definitely flooded with recommendations, and so... Today's reaction is Cochise, um, official music video. We got some visuals. Uh, we'll do song research afterwards. Um, I'm very interested to hear Chris's voice, God rest his soul. Um, I, I don't know what to expect. You know, Like a Stone was kind of... I, I just don't know what to expect from them, period. You know, I guess I'm I'm only two reactions in, this being the second, but I, I like usually when I hear a song from a band, even on the first one, I have a pretty good idea of the direction that they're they're gonna take me for future songs. With with Audio Slave and and like a stone, I, I I don't know. I still I don't know what to expect from them. It's almost like I'm going into this new, like like this is my first reaction to them again. So I'm really excited, man. We're not gonna waste no more time. We're gonna get into it. Let's go. That was one of the hardest intros to a song and video I've ever seen and heard. You want to run that by me again? For one, just visually, I don't know where they filmed this at. It looked like. The freaking fact, if you've ever seen Transformers, the first one, it looked like where the Autobots first landed in like that little factory area. It, it, but the firework, ho, ho, ho. I just need to see and hear that again. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 
Yo, do y'all hear how they come in? And how much money did they spend on fireworks? The scenery looks incredible. Just the whole build up. And then that this is hard. Okay, I'm gonna try to get through this. I'm gonna try to get through this. I can tell this is gonna be one of them. See now, audio slave. I I can tell you now, I've yet to hear one word. I like this more than like a stone. I appreciate like a stone. I th I think I'm definitely gonna like this more than like a stone. This is insanity. I think I'm about to move my chair. I'm about to move my chair because I, 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 I feel like turning up. I feel like turning up. So for one, his voice it sounds like Brian Johnson from ACDC. To an extent, not completely. But it is giving me certain ACDC vibes. His voice. Chris's voice. And he sounds nothing like he did on Like a Stone. This is a whole different world. And oddly enough, it reminds me of Rage Against the Machine. But not really. Oh man, this is hold on. We got it. We got it. One of my favorite rock songs of all time. Y'all hear me? Do you hear me? This is one of my favorite rock and roll songs of all time. I don't want to stop it. Let's keep going.
Did he pull a Chester? How long was that? That was like a good... That was a good 10, 15 seconds. What was Chester? 17? Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris is him. Chris is Himothy. Oh, shoot. I done found a new favorite band. Let me not say that cuz this is my this is only one song but oh my goodness For one I dead want to know I can't wait to do song research I'm not playing I really want to know how much money they spent on fireworks for this video This is insanity This was way crazier than any 4th of July firework pyrotechno stuff that I've ever seen. That's one. Two. This sounds incredible. I'm downloading it right now before I even press play. Audio Slave. Coaches. Download. Hold on. Y'all see it? Hold on. You gonna see when I hit download. Hold on. You see it? Oh, uh, the download thing don't come. Oh, here it go. You see? You can't see it, but you see the little arrow right there? Yeah, it's been downloaded. It's been downloaded. I don't even have to finish the song. It's been downloaded. Wait, I gotta count how many seconds that was. Hold on. Yep. Audio slave. If they have anything else like that, they're going to become my new favorite band real quick. Yeah, I know I love Rage. Rage is my favorite. I'm telling you, and the fact that they come up, literally half of Rage is in this band probably explains a lot why I love that song so much. But I'm telling you, if Audio Slave has anything else like this, I'm going to lose my mind. Yeah, I understand what I'm saying. I'm going to be so honest. I was so into it. I don't know what the song was about. I was just turning up. I have no idea what this song was about. I heard I'm not a martyr. Save yourself. Do your thing. Because what you do, I, it, I, I subconsciously heard and saw a lot. But at the same time, I didn't. I was so into the music. I have no idea what this song is about. No idea.
That was insanity. That is one of my favorite rock songs ever. This song better have won. I Yo, Rick Rubin is like why is he the first name that pops up when I type this in? This, like It was released as the lead single from their self-titled debut studio album on September 25th, 2002 through Epic Records. The band produced the song alongside Rick Rubin. The song reached number 69 on the Billboard Hot 100. That's too low. That's too low. 2002 was a great year for, for music. I don't care. That's too low. As well as top 10 on both mainstream rock and alternative songs. They all have songwriting credit and producing credit along with Rick Rubin. Musically, Cochise has been described as hard rock and alternative rock. Completely agree. Originally titled Save Yourself after a line in the uh, song's chorus, the song is named after Cochise, an Apache Indian chief who declared war on the south southeast and drove out thousands of settlers. I'm sorry, I'm looking up Cochise. Cochise County, the, Cochise County is named after him. Where's Cochise County? In Arizona. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, despite this, the song's lyrics are generally re- unrelated to Cochise and instead, of feature, instead feature a number of of religious references. I didn't pick that up. Religious references? And uh, and and real quick, how did they make that guitar I mean that helicopter sound at the beginning? What was that? Did they really sample not sample, but like record a helicopter? And it sounded like it was like toned down a little bit like the pitch of it now that I, I i was about to ask that at the, at the beginning but i didn't want to stop tip t- you know two or three seconds into the video but that helicopter sound where did that come from the music video please tell me that t- uh it was filmed near the Sepulveda Dam in Los Angeles, California. It was directed by Mark Romanek and features elaborate fireworks-based light show by special effects and lighting designer Andrew Elias. Shout out to Andrew. Shout out to Mark. This was a phenomenal music video. Everything from the location, the fireworks, the cinematography. This was an incredible music video. Everything about this music video was phenomenal. Obviously, the the standout was the um, fireworks. But just the way it was edited and the way it was shot and where it was shot, this was incredible. The intro, them getting into the the lift and the way way they had the bottom shot where it was looking up at them. And they was kind of like, and then the way Chris, his silhouette is standing, waiting at the top of the, at the, the construction site or wherever they were. And you can't, and. There's no lights. The The only light comes from the fireworks. That was fire. 
That was fire. Shout out to Mark. Shout out to Andrew. Especially Andrew. That was incredible. The Sepulveda Dam. I've never heard of that. Oh, okay. That really does look like what Transformers was filmed. The video begins with the band members arriving at a construction rig in a Chevrolet CK pickup truck with some... Uh, Wait, what? After the song, the fireworks cease and the band members hug, uh, signifying that a new band had been formed. Cornell left rehab in a car, which drove him to the set to film the video. Wow. He left rehab to film this. I I, I want to ask what he what was he in rehab for, but I'll I'll research that a number t another time. But I I do know, you know, at least a little bit about Chris and what happens to him and everything. So I I don't I don't want to ruin the great mood I'm in, but that's really sad. But also amazing, like the fact that he had, I don't want to say self-control, but just he knew how serious this was. This was the debut single from their debut album. This is the song. This is the video that's really going to stamp us as a group. I got to be there and I got to be ready. That says a lot about him, but it's also pretty scary. But that's a that's an incredible story. Due to the large amount of pyrotechnics used in the video, local residents believe that the explosions were caused by terrorists. Speaking about the filming process, Morello revealed that the local police and news stations literally received thousands of calls from people who thought the city was under siege. All the freeways were blocked because they thought there was an attack occurring. The extreme use of pyrotechnics and fireworks in the shooting also marked Coach Cheese as a very expensive music video. How expensive? How expensive? I want to know how much it costs. You're not going to tell me? Hold on. I'm looking at the list. They got the list. Can you focus, please? Focus. Anyway, it's showing me a list of... Oh, it couldn't have been that bad. It ain't even in the top. Well, let me keep going. It ain't even in the top 50. It ain't even in the top six, 70. Oh, man. How much it costs? The video was nominated for best video. It didn't win nothing? Are you nuts? I got to see whatever won. This video didn't win no awards. Oh, y'all are nuts. Y'all are nuts. But that's, that's a crazy story. It was so many fun. And that's what I was saying. Y'all, literally, there's no light. Other than a little bit of light, you know, around the construction site that, like, are very minimal. There's no lights. The only light is from the fireworks. And it was, it was, content. it was, con it was a, a constant, like, they must have bought, like, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of fireworks. And just kept shooting them. Just kept shooting them. Just keep shooting them until I say cut. That's insanity. You know how much that costs? And it look like no cheap stuff neither. It looked like what they do. Y'all know I live in the DMV. It looked like what they do at the at the National Mall 
here in DC. That looked that looked insane. That looked insane. And not for nothing, take it away from the music. The two music videos that I've watched from Audio Slave, both videos are shot amazingly. I forgot to do the music video research as well when I reacted to Like a Stone. But that was also shot very well. I really love how it was how it was filmed. But this was incredible. That was incredible. I would love to know how much it costs, but it's not telling me. Maybe it will. Maybe if I click on Limp Biscuit is in the top ten. Rolling. How expensive could Rolling by Limp Biscuit have been? Are you crazy? That couldn't have been that much. Hold on. Uh. It's not going to show me no more. It say timeline, but it stops at 1995. Okay, whatever. That was amazing. This is one of my favorite rock songs of all time. I can't rate it. I can't rank it right now. But it's one of my favorites. Um, That was incredible. Chris is incredible. I see why y'all said react to something else so I could really gauge his voice. Chris is incredible. In just two songs, I'm sold. I'm sold. God rest his soul. He is and he's phenomenal. He literally did the Chester, the Chester Bennington screech, scratch, back of the voice thing. And did it for like 15, I counted 15, 16 seconds. More Audio Slave. And if it's anything like this, give me that first. But this, as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, and it will be a next time of Audio Slave. Peace.